Hello, hello, once again, welcome to Adutech. And in today's tutorial, we're going to look at something more exciting in the lives of every programmer error handling. How you can handle errors in your program. Basically, if you're a programmer, you come across challenges or some errors that will make your program look messy. When that error occurs, it will make your program break apart, okay? So, you're going to see how we can handle those errors in Python. Remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates. In, in order to get updates anytime we upload a new tutorial. So we're going to use the try except to handle those errors in Python. So let's try and then create a variable and call it number. And we'll try to accept an integer number from a user. So let's say input. Input. So let's say we want the user to enter a number. Okay, so enter a number. So this is basically what we want the user to enter. And whatever the user is going to enter, let's try and convert it into an integer. Okay, so because it's an integer value we want to accept. So we are converting whatever the person is going to enter into an integer. So let's try and then print out whatever the person is going to enter. So let me say print. Then we'll print that number. Okay. So when I run this code, I'll enter a number which is an integer and then it would print it out as expected but assuming you run this program and then let's assume you run this program and then you enter a text like this let's say 10 you can see this program is breaking apart you can see it's giving us what's invalid literal for integer with base 0 so we want an integer and then this is basically the person is basically entering something which is not an integer okay and it's giving us an error so how can we handle this this is where we are going to use error handling in python to do that so that is what we are going to do let's see how we can do that so we're going to do something we're going to use the try except so this entire code let's bring it down and then we're going to use try so this entire block of code is going to be within this so we come down here and then we can say accept. So this block of code will give us the error. Okay, so let's try and print something over here. And then we can say invalid input. So when a person is trying to enter something which is not an integer, then we're going to print this out to that person. Okay, so that is what is going to happen. So this time around, if I try to enter something which is not an integer, then I should get what invalid what input as simple as that. But this error tends to be so broad. We can simplify this error and then make it very simple for the user. And like I said, if I run this, this time around, if I enter an integer value, everything is working. But if I try to go with something which is not an integer, we cannot handle that. So let me say 11. We know 11 is a number, but we are we don't we want an integer. So if I run this, we, our code is not breaking apart because we've not tried to handle that error using the try and then accept. But I want us to make this more meaningful. We can go ahead and say and say accept. Then we're going to use the value error. So we want to simplify our error and then try to give the person the exact error that is coming. Okay, so we can do this and then make it very simple. And even this one, you can even install or you can even store this error as a variable. So you can say as and then we can say error like this. So when we come down here, then we can print that. Let's see if this is going to work out for us perfectly. So I'm going to say 11. So you can see what is up invalid literal or integer with base 10. So our code is not breaking apart, but it's trying to give us a meaning, but you can actually break this one down and simplify this error. So if you don't want to go with this, you can still put the value error over there and then still give some meaning to that invalid input. Okay, invalid input. Remember to subscribe and then don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content, you get a notification. So basically, this is how to handle error. We have other errors that we can't. Let's say somebody is trying to divide by zero. Okay, division by zero. So this is a number. Let's say we want the person to put in a second number and then divide that number, divide those two numbers. 
So I'll copy this code and then just paste it down again. And I'll make this one number one, then number one, and then this will be number two. Okay, so let's say enter a second number. Enter a second. Okay, so the person will enter the first number and then enter the second number, and then finally we're going to give the result. Let's create another variable to store our result. So the result is going to be the first number divided by what the second number. As simple as that. Then we're going to print our result here. Okay, we're going to print our result here. So this is what we have. So if you run this code, we have this code. When I run this code, <coughs> sorry, if I run this code and I put in for to ask for the second number so let's say five and let me say seven then i divide this it's working perfectly if i try running this code again let me try running this code so if i enter 45 and then maybe the second one try to enter in something you can see invalid input so we are trying to handle this error and all that but let's try and then and see something let's try and then the try and then let's try and then enter the first number and then the second number let's try to divide by zero which we know division by zero is basically not possible so we are getting another complex that's the division by by zero which is not possible so our code is still breaking so we can basically give meaning to this particular error again by giving another exception down here we can give another exception down here and then we can say except then we can say zero we can say zero division error okay so this is basically basically another error that we can state so let me spell my division well so that i don't get error on error uh, so let's try and then now print this one down okay so let's say the error is division by zero okay so this under error that's under error we are trying to handle another one so if the person is trying to divide by zero so now let's run this code and give six and then we put in zero you can see our code is no more breaking we are able to handle anyone trying to divide by zero we are able to handle that one too like i said you can easily make this one you can store your error as what variable so i can say as error so something like this and then over here i can call this one and then it will it will just give me the minute to that error so like i was saying you can store this error as a variable and then you can come down here and then print it over there so we can just call this error over here because i've stored it as a variable and then i'm trying to print it out so if somebody is trying to divide by zero automatically because we try to be specific about our error it's basically going to say that the person is trying to divide by what zero. so let's run this this time around put in six and then try to divide by zero and you can see basically it's able to give us a division by zero okay so this actually helps in programming and it can easily handle errors a lot i may not have time to talk about commenting in python so let me just use this opportunity to talk about comment comments are basically block comments in python basically comments are lines of code that are being ignored by the program so anytime the program is running and it meets a comment to skip it so basically a comment give meaning to your program so i can come here and then give a comment so in python i can come here using the to use comment use the hashtag in python so anytime the program is running it meet anything after hashtag it will not point it so let's say division so, okay so basically this is just a comment which the program is going to ignore it's not going to run this particular line so when you run this you can see our program is still running perfectly and it's going to ignore this so Using comments is very, very important in programming to give meaning to anyone using your program. You can read line by line and understand what exactly that particular line of code is doing. So using comments is very important. So you've been able to use this simple strategy, try except to handle errors 
within our program. So basically, anyone trying to enter anything which is not integer as expected, we are able to handle that. Anybody trying to put in anything which is trying to divide by zero, we are able to handle that. So let's do another test now. And then I put in 10. So you can see invalid input. So this error is specific. So basically, if you are using just accept, it becomes very broad. But it can be at least give a specific error that the person is trying to handle. You can at least relate your program to the specific error. Then the program will just give meaning to that. We don't just use the accept like that, which is too broad. We have value error, we have zero division error, and other errors that you can easily handle. So when a person is trying to divide by zero, there should be error that the person will get. The person is trying to put in an invalid input, there should be error. So this is how to handle errors in Python, how to try to catch errors. So there will be other amazing things coming up on this channel. Remember to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell in order to get alerts anytime we upload a new content. So basically, this is how to handle errors in Python. Thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial. I have more tutorials coming up. So subscribe and turn on the notification bell in order to get alerts anytime we upload a new tutorial. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.